Hear me, you wrangling pirates that do fall out in sharing that which you have pilled from me. Which of you trembles not that looks on me? If not that I am queen, you bow like subjects. Yet that by you depose, you quake like rebels. Ah, gentle villain, do not turn away. <laughs> Foul, wrinkled witch. <laughs> what makes thou in my sight? But repetition of what thou hast marred, that will I make before I let thee go. Wert thou not banish it on pain of death? I was, but I do find more pain in banishment than death can yield me here by my abode. A husband and a son thou owest to me. And thou, a kingdom, all of you, allegiance. This sorrow that I have by right is yours, and all the pleasures you usurp are mine. Were you snarling all before I came? <laughs> Ready to catch each other by the throat and turn you now your hatred all on me? <laughs> Can curses pierce the clouds and enter heaven? Why then give way, dull clouds, to my quick curses. Thy son, that now is Prince of Wales, for our son that was Prince of Wales, die in his youth by like untimely violence. Thyself a queen, for me that was a queen, outlive thy glory like my wretched self, and see another as I see thee now, decked in thy rights as thou art stalled in mine. Long mayest thou live to wail thy children's death, and after many hours of grief die, neither mother, wife, nor England's queen. Have done thy charms, thy hateful, withered hag. And leave out thee. <laughs> Stay, dog, for thou shalt hear me. If heaven have any grievous plague in store, exceeding those that I can wish upon thee, oh, let them keep it till thy sins be ripe, and then hurl down their indignation on thee the troubler of the poor world's peace, the worm of conscience still benaw thy soul. No sleep close up that deadly eye of thine unless it be that some tormenting dream affrights thee with a hell of ugly devils, thou elvish marked, abortive, rooting hog, thou that was sealed in thy nativity, the slave of nature and the son of hell, thou slander of thy heavy mother's womb, thou loathed issue of thy father's loins, thou rag of honor, thou detested... Margaret! Richard! Huh? <laughs> I call thee not. Oh, I cry thee mercy then, for I had thought thou calls me all these bitter names. <laughs> Thank you.